Can our pump cannot? Yeah, awesome. Do you have your hearts ready? Heart in the house. All right, we have ah seven o'clock. Well, here we go. I'm so excited you're all here. My name is Stacy Hoffman. If you are new to Living Jazz, it's possible we're going to have some folks with us this evening that actually don't know much about Living Jazz. So before we get going, I just want to welcome you to the kickoff of our brand new Living Jazz Campfire Series. And we're really excited. So before we get going, I'm going to do some rules of the game. So those of you who are new to Zoom can understand a little bit about what's happening. So we talked about gallery view. For those of us who just joined, you will see on the top right of your screen, a little box with a bunch of little boxes in it. And if you click on it, you can go to gallery view and that's gonna let you see everyone. You'll see a little blue arrow to the right and that takes you to the next page of faces. So there's probably right now maybe three or four pages, but that'll increase as people keep joining us. You'll also see a small icon at the bottom of your screen that says chat. So take a look for that. And when you click on that, you're gonna see a sidebar coming up on the right. And you can actually type comments or questions in the sidebar. We're gonna have moderators for you this evening. They'll actually try to answer all your questions or comments. So feel free to write away. So again, that should have been at the bottom, that little icon that said chat. During the show, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna ask you guys to support us. We're gonna ask you guys to make donations to Living Jazz, and we know you're gonna to wanna to play it forward with us. The way you do it is simply go to livingjazz.org. If you are on full screen view, you may not be able to go to the website because you won't see your browser. So you'll notice a box icon also at the top right of your screen. I'm reading my instructions, you guys. At the top right of your screen, and you can click on it to exit full screen, and that will allow you to use your browser to take you to livingjazz.org to make a donation. So that was right next to the icon that I talked about before at the top right of the screen. You can exit full screen mode in order to allow your browser to show up. If you wanna click on, this is a final instruction, you guys. If you wanna <coughs> click on the icon that is also at the bottom of your screen that says participants, you can actually see, see everybody's name that joined us. So you'll notice that at the very bottom, it says participants, and you'll see everybody's name on their images. So you ready? Should we get started? Let me see your hands. We know you're there. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you really quickly about Living Jazz, because I know most of you are our dear family, and that's why you're here with us today. But some of you may not be familiar with us. We are an Oakland-based nonprofit. We started our organization 36 years ago, and our mission is to transform lives through music. We're as committed as we've ever been. We have a variety of programs that serve 3,500 people annually, serving elementary age children in our elementary schools, all the way to seniors. We have summer camps. We have our in-school music program. We have our Jazz Search West program, our annual tribute, honoring Dr. Martin Luther King, and many other things that we've done throughout the years, including the launch originally of the Oakland Interfit Gospel Choir and the Oakland Jazz Choir. Well, as you can imagine, COVID-19 is definitely affecting us as it is all of you. We have you in our hearts, we have you in our minds, because we know all of you are severely impacted. The way that it's influencing living jazz is we cannot produce our programs. And without program production, we do not make any revenue. And without revenue, we can't be an organization that will survive on into the future. So we're here tonight because we're launching our Play It Forward 
fundraising campaign. <coughs> and we have already raised, I think it's like $37,000. We have a $100,000 mark. And with your help over the next six weeks, we're sure, we're positive, we know that we're going to make Living Jazz go on for another 36 years. So we're really excited about it. And we're going to continue to ask for your support as we do the next five concerts in a row after tonight. Again, if you want to make a donation throughout the evening, simply go to livingjazz.org. Right now, I want to introduce and invite my wonderful co-host who I adore, Allison Miller. Hi, everybody. Um, wave your hands if you can hear me. Yeah? Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. Um, I am, uh, I'm Allison, and I'm the Artistic Director of Jazz Camp West, as most of you probably know. And it's just so wonderful to see so many familiar faces. Um, kind of before I say anything else, I just want to just, um, just, uh, you know, offer some, um, just some, some heart to everybody, because I know we're all really hurting at this time. And um, if you haven't been directly, like, directly affected by this virus, you probably know someone who has been. And, and uh, we've lost a lot of really incredible uh, musicians during this time, which has been um, really heartbreaking. Uh, Wallace Roney, John Prime, Ellis Marsalis, to name a few. Um, and everybody's hurting and we're all hurting for work. And I just want to just kind of give a little, give a little heart to us and compassion to all of us to get through this time. And I think one of the ways that we can get through this time is by doing things like this, like this campfire concert series. So we can connect as a community, even through, um, zoom, you know, <laughs> um, so I'm here in Brooklyn, uh, and I'm in my drum room, um, these are my, I'm sitting near these because um, they're dear to my heart. So I thought I'd mention them. They were my first drums I ever played on. And um, they were my teacher's drums. And when he passed away, he gave them to me. They're old Cam Coasts for any drummers on the, on the Zoom. So they're, they're out, of, out, of, uh, out of print, um, but they're vintage and they're, they're my babies. I play all, all my records, pretty much all my records I make with these. Um, so I'm here in Brooklyn. We're, we're uh, you know, it's interesting in Brooklyn and in New York City right now because it's really kind of the, the hotbed of the virus. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, I will say it is scary. And, um, you know, luckily me and my family were all healthy. Uh, we're isolating um, completely, pretty much completely isolating. And homeschooling, I'm homeschooling Josie and chasing Charlie around. And, um, and we're just getting through this time, you know, it's, um, there's something kind of, they're, they're, I think the main thing that I notice here, and you probably notice it where you are, is that there's silence. And um, I'm actually hearing nature more in New York City than I've ever heard. So that's kind of a beautiful gift that this is um, telling us, kind of Mother Earth is speaking up. And, but then also it's kind of combined with this eerie silence and a lot of sirens. So it is a little, it's a little, frightening. So um, I'm really glad to connect with everybody. Um, I just want to talk about this campfire series a little bit. Uh, Living Jazz created the campfire series as a way to bring outstanding concerts right to your home during this hard time and a way for us to build community, even though we're not able to, to gather in the same room together. Um, we named it the campfire series because of the tradition at our summer camps where we, talk, where we walk out into a clearing in the Redwoods, light a bonfire, and hear an exquisite evening of acoustic music. Um, I'm a Jazz Camp Wester as part of the Living Jazz Organization. And uh, for me, our Wednesday nights up at the Ohlone Bowl are, are kind of the, it's kind of the, the mecca of the whole week. And it's where, it's kind of where if you haven't connected with camp yet, you, you definitely connect with camp by Wednesday night. So uh, it's really special to do this online. Uh, in addition to tonight, we're going to have five more concerts, um, and it'll go until May 17th, I think. And Stacy, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, but May 17th, the next one is next Sunday, um, April 19th. Uh, and each week, we'll highlight one of the programs of Living Jazz. So next week will be Jam Camp West. Um, with that information, I want to get right to the concert because the reason we're really here is to 
hear incredible musicians and get into the living jazz spirit. Uh, there's nobody that is more of the living jazz spirit than the person that I'm going to introduce to kick off this music with a prayer. Um, he is uh, one of my heroes. He's an incredible percussionist, producer, historian, educator, um, a maker of incredible communities. And I think he's been at Jazz Camp West every year. I think maybe all 36 years. I, he can correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I wanna just pass it on to him, P pass on the big love to John Santos. Thank you, Allison. I've only been at Jazz Camp 33 years. So, um, close. Close. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm so happy to connect with you here briefly during these challenging moments in history. I want to express my endless gratitude to Stacy, Allison, to all the Living Jazz staff and volunteers, and to all of you for holding space for this amazing institution. Despite tremendous grief, greed, and honesty, dishonesty, excuse me, as we look inward, while the world we knew is closed down, I'd like to remind us to remember to keep our hearts open. Open not only to healing ourselves and our communities, but to healing of the earth, which we already see beginning to recover her natural magic with the tons of poison we inject into her every day being suspended for just a couple of weeks. Now, indigenous communities around the world have always respected the delicate and interconnected balance of life on this planet. And in that respect, as we do here every year at Jazz Camp, we give thanks. We pay homage and we call upon ancient spirits and place, spirits of place and beings, our guardian angels, our ancestors recently and long departed. <clears throat> it's time that we rid the planet of this violence and hate that men have created and welcome back the deep female energy that has always healed to create peace and well-being. This brief series of Afro-Cuban cantos that I'm gonna sing here is Yoruba from Nigeria in origin. And it's dedicated to the Orisha Yemaya, the mythological guardian of the oceans and primordial mother of the earth and all of its inhabitants. The songs remind us to respect both the seen and the unseen and the beauty and power of nature. And I'd like to especially dedicate it to uh, one very close friend and colleague who just passed two days ago, the great, the phenomenal New Yorkian bassist, Andy Gonzalez. <clears throat> oh, sinig ba o yale? Oh, sinig ba o yale? I yale yaluma o. I yale o mi abe ayaba o mi o. Eko yale yaluma o. Yale o mi abe ayaba o mi o. Yemaya o lodo, hawa lodo o mi o. Yemaya o lodo, hawa lodo o mi o. Yemaya lodo, hawa lodo o mi o. Yemaya o lodo, hawa lodo o mi o. He mi wa, kwele kwele bamba o che. E mi wa, kwele kwele bamba o che. Baro nyi o, baro ye o, e alado yale. Baro nyi o, baro ye o, e alado ra. Baro nyi o, baro ye o, kuti alado ra. Baro nyi o, baro ye ma yalo de alado yare. Baro nyi o, baro ye o, e alado ra. Baro nyi o, baro ye o. Oke oke la di o 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 oke oke o 
que la dio que o que o que la dio que o que o que la dio o que o que la dio que much love and health abundance to all of you and please do play it, play it forward at meetingjazz.org. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you for taking us right to the place we need to go to. Thank you so much. Um, as John just said, uh, please, please, please help keep this incredible organization that I know has personally deeply changed my life and I'm sure has changed every single person who's, who is on this Zoom meeting, um, this Campfire Series concert right now has changed your life. So please help us keep Living Jazz alive. Go to livingjazz.org and play it forward. Um, we need all the help we can get. And I know that this is one of the strongest, actually probably the strongest community that I've ever experienced in my life. So I know that we can make it happen. So um, let's get right on to some more music. This next person is joining us from Seattle, right? Yes, okay, <laughs> just making sure. Um, and he is one of the most loving, generous, compassionate uh, people I've ever met. He's an incredible musician. He is so willing to pass on his knowledge and his expertise and his musicianship. Um, he brings more energy to Jazz Camp West than I think I'm pretty sure than anybody does. Uh, he sleeps the least at Jazz Camp West. He uh, runs the jam sessions, teaches, gets up for yoga every morning. I don't know how he does it. I aspire to have his energy. Um, please welcome Jovino Santos Neto. Okay, can you hear me? All good? Sound? Yes, okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, my brother, John. And thank you, all the musicians who, who are here tonight with us and everybody who's listening. It's a big pleasure to be part of this community. Uh, this uh, will be my 19th year at Jazz Camp West, and every year is another recharge of the batteries. Uh, Allison was talking about the energy. The energy comes from the place. And it's really where we get it from, it's from the amazing community of people that are from all different tribes of ages and everybody from different backgrounds, but we get to love the music. We play together. So I'm here in my home and we're gonna play a little bit for you. And uh, I don't, I'm not gonna worry much about what, what I'm gonna play or not. I'm just gonna play some music for you and I hope you enjoy this. Here it goes.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. And don't forget to support Living Jazz that supports all of us. And they support the music and the music supports all of us. And we support Living Jazz. And you know, it's a snake that eats its own tail. So we are part of it. Forget it. Play it forward. Go to livingjazz.org. And thank you, everybody. There we go. <laughs> thank you, Jovino. <laughs> That's so beautiful. As Allison was saying earlier, Jovino is definitely one of the linchpins of our beloved family with Living Jazz and Jazz Camp West. And I was just thinking as I'm watching so many people get admitted to this event this evening, that the way that I cope with stress is I go out and I hang out with my community. Um, I listen to music, I share music. Um, and of course, in my line of work, I create ways for everybody to come together. And it's breaking my heart that I can't be with everybody in the flesh and hug my friends and listen to music side by side in person. And that's one of the reasons we're doing this, to make sure that we stay connected, that we see each other, even though we may be in little tiny boxes right now, because uh, I really feel the love. And we want to be here for you guys on the other side of this virus. So please support Living Jazz. Um, it's critical that we have your support at this time. Just simply go to livingjazz.org. We'll be there for you. We need your financial help. Here's my heart for me to you. Okay, right now we're going to have a message from a very special friend of Living Jazz. Hi, my name is Wayne Wallace. I've been involved with Jazz Camp and Living Jazz for over 30 years. Living Jazz has enriched our communities and built cultural connections that has brought us closer together. The need for art organizations that continue to empower all people has never been greater than today. We thank all of you who have been very giving over the years with your spirit, time, and your continued donations. If you believe in the Living Jazz mission statement and haven't been able to participate, we encourage you to make a financial donation or a donation of your time so this invaluable Bay Area tradition can be sustained for you and for your children for years to come. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Wayne. Wayne um, has been a very special part of the Living Jazz community. We haven't seen him at camp or at our programs in a while and we miss him and we love him. And we're just so grateful that he's sending his beautiful message along. So play it forward, you guys. Everyone, please play it forward this evening with us. Make a contribution of any size. Go to livingjazz.org and send your love our way. So I have the very uh, special privilege of inviting our next, next guest to play for us. I met Kate McGarry and her beautiful husband, Keith Gantz, at jazz camp several years ago, and I was just blown away, not only by their sound, uh, by their professionalism, by their heart, their love, the exquisite music, but their good fortune to have that generated love between them as a married couple to share in something so sacred and so wonderful. So we've just been incredibly honored to have them in our fold and to see them, you know, when they have the opportunity to share with us and join us in our programs. So please let's give a really warm welcome and you can clap even though maybe we can't hear all of you. Let's do it for Kate McGarry and Keith Gantz. Ooh, hey Jazz Campers, how y'all doing? We feel your love and uh, we are so honored and, and happy to be here and uh, some of the most beautiful and powerful memories of my life are from Jazz Camp West. And um, so we're so happy to be joining with you and uh, perpetuating this, this love and this strength um, through this time and into the future so we can just be here for each other and be together. Here's a song. Mm -hmm. i 
looked at life from both sides now from winning losing still somehow i looked at love from both sides now from give and take and still somehow it's love's illusions i recall Play it forward. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That is um, pure music right there. It doesn't get any more pure. Thank you so much, you all. Miss you. Miss you too. All of you. Very much. Thank you. Um, wow, Kate, you, uh, you like trigger the tear ducts. That should be in your, um, in your bio. <laughs> Kate, trigger the tear ducts, McGarry. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much. Um, so I just want to, again, talk a little bit about this series. I think it's going swell so far. I hope everybody's having a good time. I know that I am having a great time and, and already feel better. Uh, it's, it's incredible how we need each other. I mean, I think this time is really making it very clear that we need to slow down and we need each other. And I know that we get that at, at Jazz Camp West every year, but uh, I feel like we need to take it even, you know, be more serious about taking it into our full year and how we move through uh, time and space. Um, so next week, the, the Campfire concert will be on Sunday, April 19th at 7 p.m. And we'll be featuring Faye Carroll with Joe Warner Josiah Woodson and Daria Johnson and more. And it'll be all live, starts at 7 p.m. It's gonna be focusing um, on Jam Camp. And uh, I'm gonna be there, even though I'm not part of the Jam Camp. I guess I am, it's a living jazz family. It's all, it's all one big family. Uh, but I'll definitely be there and I hope you guys join us again for an incredible night of music. Okay, so continuing with the music, the next person I'm gonna introduce is uh, someone very special to me. Um, she's my number one, she's my sister. Um, she is, you know, three or four years ago when I, when Madeline and Stacy decided to ask me to take over the artistic director position for Jazz Camp West, uh, I think the very first person I thought of calling was this person. And I knew I had to get her involved in the, the living jazz community. And I knew that she would uh, do what she does, which is completely throw her all into it. And I knew that she would become family right away. And she's definitely family to the living jazz community. And we love her so much. She is uh, an incredible musician, a producer, uh, a pianist, vocalist. She does it all. She's played with, I mean, Carly Simon, Ani DeFranco, Joan Baez, uh, who else? Maceo Parker, everybody. She's played with everybody. So please welcome the great Julie Wolf. Hi, everybody. Am I on? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Great. Uh, hi. I've also played with Allison Miller and Kate McGarry and Keith Gans and Jovino Santos Neto and John Santos. So, yeah. 
Um, thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm really happy to be with you. And um, I'm going to get right to music in one moment. I just want to ask you if you have anything extra to give to go to livingjazz.org and contribute to this incredibly worthy, worthy cause of keeping living jazz alive, jazz camp, jam camp, everything. And also come to jazz camp. I'm serious. Do it. Okay, so this is a um, this is a Keith Jarrett song, and the lyrics are written by one of our own jazz camp family members, Rhiannon. And um, Rhiannon's a dear friend, and I've known her for a very long time. And I think I learned these lyrics from her in 1990, maybe. Could that be? So, okay, here we go. Oh, also, I'm at the Wolf Family Piano, and it's a very squeaky bench, so.
Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Julie. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm so humbled by my friends and my community and the way in which music truly does feel like a connector, even when we can't officially connect in person. And one of the ironies I know all of you must be feeling is the thing that all of us seem to turn to in crisis and especially in a time of isolation are the arts and the arts are often overlooked in times of crisis and so we're relying on our community to not overlook us and make sure that we're there on the other side of this pandemic because without officially being together it's very hard to do the work and raise the revenue that we do so that we can keep serving you guys uh, we are talking a lot about jazz camp, but quite frankly, Living Jazz is serving 400 elementary school children each year. We're serving close to 200 middle-aged school children each year. We're serving teens through seniors through all of our programs. And we serve about 1,300 people each year in Oakland by celebrating the great legacy of Dr. King through music. So we're out there doing our task of transforming lives through music in all the different ways that we can and that we can think of. And it's up to us as a community to decide to try to support us until we meet again in all the various settings that we know we want to meet uh, in theaters, uh, in concerts, in venues, large or small, out in the middle of the redwoods, um, and in each other's homes, hanging out together and doing what we do so beautifully. So please play it forward. Please support us. Um, please go to livingjazz.org. Your contributions, no matter what size, I promise you, will really make a difference and it will be a great investment in all of our future as we hope that we meet each other again in these kinds of settings. Um, so now we're going to hear another message from a very special friend of Living Jazz. This is Benny Green coming to you from my home in Berkeley, California. Hope everyone is well, safe and sound, and peace. I'm speaking to you this evening on behalf of Living Jazz, the Living Jazz organization. I've been involved with Living Jazz for at least 15 years now. I had the privileged opportunity and the pleasure of being artist in residence at Jazz Camp West twice an experience I wouldn't trade in for anything in the world. I love the community relations that are fostered through Living Jazz are beyond description. We want to ask you to please send donations in any form, any amount, to help sustain the organization at this time. We really appreciate you, we love you, and we can't wait to be back together with you again. Benny. Thank you so much. Benny grew up right next door to me. Uh, so right over there, Benny Green and his family. It's amazing. Um, so I have such a great pleasure to introduce our next guest. And what's amazing about the history and legacy, this is my 36th year uh, being the founding executive director of Living Jazz. Uh, and I'm 66, so that's like, that's been a long time, you guys. And uh, I just want to see this keep happening 
36 more years, even if I'm not the one seeing it happen in the flesh. But a very, very, very long time ago, when I was in my 20s, uh, I had gone to this thing that somebody told me to go to in the middle of the Redwoods in Casadero. And it was a jazz camp, a week-long thing that um, I never knew anything about, but I went there and there were sounds that I had never been exposed to in my life. There was this thing called jazz and there was steel drum from Trinidad and there was the blues and there was gospel. And these were styles of music that I just didn't have the fortune to be exposed to when I was growing up. There was a gospel choir at this camp and there was a woman named Faye Kelly uh, leading the choir and there was an incredible gentleman named Ed Kelly playing at the piano. And there was this young kind of whippersnapper kid uh, running around named Terrence Kelly. And uh, that experience singing in the all camp gospel choir was such an inspiration to me. And when I serendipitously saved jazz camp from extinction a couple of years later, because the organization that was running it was faltering, um, a few of us got together, Ellen Hoffman, Sue Troopin, Eddie Marshall, and Julie Shear, we got together to save it. And a couple of years later, when our organization was formed, Living Jazz, I thought, well, you know that gospel choir that we have at jazz camp? Why don't we do something like that all year long? People would really love to sing gospel music, even if they aren't going to a church. And so we called Terrence Kelly on the phone, and we said, Terrence, would this be something that would be interesting to you to do? And that was the start of the Oakland Interfaith Gospel Choir, which we launched in 1986. So I've watched Terrence mature into the most outstanding, one of our, not just country, but um, world-renowned choral conductors and exquisite vocalists. So let's please put our virtual hands together to, uh, for the great Terrence Kelly. Hello, everybody. Oh, wow, this is so awesome to see so many familiar faces. I feel like Miss Arianne, Miss Mary Ann from the I see Stacy, I see Paige, I see. <laughs> it's just so awesome to be here um, in support of Living Jazz, um, which Jazz Camp is uh, something I do every year. It's the best week of my year. I so forward look to Jazz Camp every year. Um, and there's also the kids, uh, uh, Living Jazz Kids Project that I do. 300 second and third graders coming together to sing a few songs um, in recognition of uh, civil rights leaders. And it's wonderful to watch them grow and to run into them years later with uh, light mustaches and stuff. So it's, it's really, you know, Living Jazz has been a great part of my life and um, they deserve our support. Living Jazz deserves our support. I have two small little numbers for you tonight. Um, and the first one says, Oh Lord, please hear my prayer in the morning when I rise. It's your servant bound for glory. Lord, hear my prayer. Um, when my work on earth is done and you come to take me home, it's your servant bound for glory. Just to know I'm bound for glory and to hear you say, well done. Oh, oh Lord, please hear my prayer. In the morning when I rise, please, it's your servant bound for glory. Oh, dear Lord, please. Hear my prayer, oh Lord, please hear. 
keep me safe within your arms. It's your servant's bound for glory. Oh, dear Lord, please My, oh, hear my prayer. When my work, when my work on earth is done, and you come to take me home, just, just to know, to know I'm bound for glory. And to hear, to hear you say, well, well done. I'm waiting on you, Lord, to say well done, well done, well done. Okay. Um. So this one, um, we can all sing it together. <laughs> <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everybody sing. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Everybody sing this little light of oh, mine. mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Please go and donate and support Living Jazz. Living Jazz gives life to people. Living Jazz, support, support. Thank you. Thank you, Terrence. Thank you. Miss you. That was beautiful. Oh, thank you, Allison. <laughs> wow. Thank you. And hearing everybody sing in different, um, in different <laughs> moments in time and space was beautiful, too. <laughs> um, thank you to everybody. We're, 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 we're coming to the end of our first Campfire concert. And um, I just want to thank all, everybody for coming. I think we had, we had well over 100 participants, which is so exciting. Um, and we're going to continue this. We're going to, we have five more concerts up through May 17th. Oh yeah, I see the heart. Where did my heart go? There we go. If you have a heart, hold it up. If you can also just hold your own heart up. Um, yes. So please, 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 we need all the help we can get. And, um, you know, all, all the musicians tonight have donated their time, which we are so grateful for. Uh, musicians, we're all, you know, we're all hurting, we're all struggling, we're all losing work, um, no matter what your profession is and what your career is. Um, and musicians to, for musicians to donate their time right now is just a really 
spectacular act of kindness and compassion. So please, please donate to Living Jazz. Um, uh, play it forward. Go to livingjazz.org. And let's keep this thing going so we can come back together and we can keep transforming lives through music. Um, I'm going to pass it off to the person that has basically made all of this happen. She's one of another one of my heroes. Uh, and has become one of my closest friends over the past few years. Uh, and I think we all, we all respect her and we all appreciate her. And um, I love her. I love her dearly. This is Stacy Hoffman. <laughs> uh, I love you too, Allison. Uh, I love all of you who came this evening. Um, thank you for sitting by the campfire with Living Jazz. Each and every one of you means so much to us, and it's through you that we'll sit by the campfire again, not just virtually, but when we can all be together wherever that might be. And so um, I don't have a recap on, on uh, maybe what donations were brought in this evening, but you still have time when we get off our campfire or away from our campfire, um, and you can still go to livingjazz.org, of course, at any time. Uh, I know that we've been chatting on the side. There's PayPal, there's Venmo. Um, there's any way that you might be able to support us. We'll be back here next Sunday, even though today is Saturday, out of respect for Easter. We did our first campfire on a Saturday, but we'll be doing our remaining concerts on Sundays at 7. So the campfire series will, will be again next Sunday at 7. We're so excited to have the dynamic Miss Faye Carroll and Joe Warner. Josiah Woodson will be coming all the way from Paris to perform for, well, he'll be in Paris. <laughs> we'll be wherever we are um, on this thing we call Zoom. And um, Daria Johnson will be joining us and other special guests. So uh, we hope we'll see you next Sunday, April 19th. And again, I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I miss all of you. I miss my community in the flesh, and I know all you do too, but thank you so much for sheltering in place. Thank you so much for playing your part because we really need to move through this virus. No matter where you live, no matter what state or country you may be in, let's keep doing this even though it's difficult so that we can get through this virus as quickly as possible uh, and do our share. So play it forward. We love you guys. Thank you, and we'll see you next Sunday at seven. It's a little We're so grateful. Thank you.